It's Erica here and I'm hopping on for like a quick talk because somebody told me about like, hey, there's a group about talking about some crazy shit that your baby daddy or whatever has done. And um, I was getting dressed today and I put on these boots, okay? And I was like, yeah, these boots are cute, but it's like the crazy thing is... I had asked for those for a gift, and um, the way I got them from him, like, I was in bed, I was sleeping, I had just had a baby, and he was gone, like, doing stuff, you know, meeting with a friend, whatever, it was night, it was like 10, 30, 11 p.m., I was tired. I missed him so much. I just wanted him to be there cuddling me, like being nice, you know? I just wanted him to be nice. And, like, he just couldn't even be nice to me. I don't know. It is a real tragedy being with a narcissist. So anyways, how I ended up getting these, like, because I was crying when he got back, um... He was like, damn, you're whatever. Um, I was just in bed, dark room. Like it was, I just wanted him to slide into bed and cuddle me and fall asleep. That is all I wanted from him, you know? Just snuggle, fall asleep, be there with me. And it was like, he came home. He was all angry, like angry to be home. I don't know why. Like he just, I guess he just like really just looked at me like some horrible burden or something. Um... I have no clue, like really why, I don't know why, um, that's part of the accept acceptance, um, about stuff, like, you're not getting a closure that one may think they would want to seek, um, however, when he got home and he was so mad, he like threw the box at me, and it was a pretty big box, ugh box, you know, and he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, here's your fucking boots. And it was like a week before Christmas, you know, I had asked at the beginning. I was like, oh, that's what I wanted this year, you know, um, cute boots that I could wear around the house and stay warm, but also could go outside. Um, and yeah, he threw them at me and it hurt me. It like the corner hit me in the back of my back, like. And I just cried even more after that. It was like, what did I ever do? Like, why did I sign up? What, what inside of me, what kind of a program running inside of me told me to sign up for somebody who was going to just be so mean and bring out like the meanness in me at times that I never, ever wanted to be. Like, I'm a nice person, so I think I just really wanted love, affection, and caring. Like, I literally just had a baby, December baby, and then Christmas is obviously the 25th, so the few-week period of time in there. He made me so sad all the time. Like, and I can't say that now that I'm healed because he didn't make me sad. He brought out the sadness in me that I was obviously mirroring. But it's a strange thing with a narcissist and I just don't get it. Like, I guess it would have been like about eight years now, but we were done after seven, I, like, had ran that cycle, and, you know, I was waking up this morning with my beautiful son next to me, and I said, I can't believe, like, I can't believe I married this guy that I loved so much, and he's not waking up holding me, and both of us looking at our son, and laughing together and like warm hugs in the bed like that is so fucking stupid that that doesn't get to be my life that's all i really wanted i don't understand why there is 
something inside of me that was running on a program of getting like exact opposite of what I would want. Like a dysfunctional patterning, you know, uh, ancestral karma, you know, uh, soul ties, karmic contracts, like there was a lot of pain coming up from being with a karmic narcissist. And it's like, when you get to the other side of that, you're like, oh, I agreed to that. Like, this is what triggers everything to make me be free. Like, but the 3D, what you wanted, it's just not a thing. Like, and, and, and it's sometimes hard to be in that mindset where the 3D life that you wanted, um, that's not a thing. So the thing is, uh, you know, you came here to experience these painful moments so that you could have the deepest healing possible so that like every cell in your body is just completely different. And, um, you know, when you look back at that person, you're like, oh, you almost like, it's almost like if your little sister died or something. I don't know how to describe. Um, Yeah, he threw the fucking boots at my back as I was laying in bed. Instead of just saving the boots somewhere in a hiding spot so he could wrap it nice for me for Christmas and just washed himself up, got a shower, and slid into bed with me for a cuddling night. That's what I wanted, but I never got to have any of that. Never, never the affection and love and intimate caring. Like, I think that's what just breaks a heart and a soul. So... You know, I really don't think about it that much anymore. Um, sometimes I wake up and I'm thinking, oh, wow, it's like I really don't have a husband here. <sighs> That's really fucked. It's really fucked. I didn't know mentally the choice I made when I chose to be with him. It felt so right. It felt so great. We had like... I don't know, it was just, I guess, all in my head, because I I guess none of that meant anything to him. Come to find out, right? I mean, yeah, it was, it was like a mind fuckery that I, like, literally thought I had met the love of my life and we were going to, like, be a happy couple forever, and it's just so weird that's not sometimes even it is really weird that that's not really the case it hurts my feelings I would have rather been in here seeing him out in the garage working on cars with our son um being a man around the house making love to me kissing me you know helping do shit to fix things that's that's what I wanted him to be a protector a provider that's what I was that's actually what I was like, thought I was getting into, you know, gorgeous, hottie, strong, sexy, you know, our baby together. Like, it's so stupid that that's not even it. Like, I would have rather been in my backyard sitting next to him, holding his hand on the swing, watching my son run around. But I don't like get to have moments like that. I don't get to have that family feeling.
so that brings up a lot of pain, obviously. So I guess I'm going to have to deal with this shit. You know, if this pain is still coming up, that's another block keeping me from love. Again, like I've been working on, on clearing blocks for like a year or two. So I must have had a pretty good shift because the fact that this is coming up now that I didn't think was there. So this was obviously buried in my subconscious as something that bothered me. And when I put these boots on today to go outside for springtime, I guess I just had a flashback. Like... It's so dumb. Like, why couldn't he just hand me the boots and been like, hey, I love you. I got you a surprise for Christmas. And like, I would have given him a hug and kissed him and just been happy. Like, why would he choose to just be mean and be rude? Like, in everything. Like, the other time he gave me a present, a Sephora gift card. He came in, I was in my kitchen, I'm baking banana bread, he comes in, and he was like, oh, well, here's your fucking Christmas present, and he took it out of his wallet, and he slammed it down on my pan, like, this one I laugh about, because I've been through it with my narc, okay, like, seriously, he came in through the back door when I'm in the kitchen, and he's like, he was picking up our kid and fucking, oh my God, what a psycho. Like, okay, so I had made like fish sticks the night before, so the dirty pan was on top of my stove. Oh my God, this motherfucker. And it was before I got my new flat pan, so it was like some janky fucking pan. Well, I actually had two of them. And, uh, you know, it was his job to wash the dishes anyways. That was the thing. So when he left, I, I was fucked over on that because I cook a lot. And I really need that extra time not to be wasting my time cleaning. I really need to be focusing on really more important stuff. So he was like a great helper in that aspect. But he was so angry. That was the freaking worst problem his rage for like no reason so I say I'm like I'm not the worst okay I'm like I'm pretty nice really I'm sweet I just want love like how hard is it to just be nice to a girl I don't get it so I mean men are awful to women like seriously <sighs> Anyways, this motherfucker comes in. I'm literally, um, ugh, I'm literally, I'm trying to shake his energy out. See, I'm like, I'm hearing about it. Okay. So I'm literally, um, just in there. He's like, oh, by the way, here's your fucking Christmas present yelling, right? Takes it out of his wallet, slams it on the fish pan tray, which is like, there's just little crumbles or whatever. You know, it was in a Sephora envelope. It was cool. And, like, I just turn around and I'm just like, okay. He's like, and then, he's like, you'll probably be ungrateful for that, too, or whatever. And I'm like, can you ever just hand me something in a nice way so I could, like, hug you for it or kiss you? Like, why are we not allowed to do anything nice? That was stupid, like... Especially because I just want to be on that warm, hot body, you know? He's an Aries fire sign. Like, skin is warm. Muscles are hot. Like, just wanted it up on me. That's what I don't get. Like, jeez. You would think what I was wanting was what anybody would want because it's, like, obviously an amazing way to live. But, I don't know. He wanted to be mean to me instead. So, I had to accept that it was not my choice. It was not my choice in the matter. I married him thinking we would be together forever. Um, that if anything ever happened, that 
We would go to counseling, save our relationship. I would have never thought it would be so easily walked away from. But you know what? I was obviously duped big time, fucking big time, okay? I was literally. And you know what? Looks like I'm going to be making me some motherfucking banana bread today. Um, yeah, and I could have just been making some food in the kitchen, kissing on a cutie. Like, what is the issue? with like just being sweet and cute and cool and just loving somebody. I don't get like why it has to be the opposite of that. So that was kind of like my quest. That question there has become my quest. Um, what in me would attract this time and again? So I've been doing a lot of deep diving on past lives especially um even this life just faulty programming uh you know and i had to dismantle all of that so it's not going to be a problem anymore but the problem is like this that last one that was something else that was a karmic twin narcissist so those who know would know those who don't know, be fucking glad you don't know. This is what I was looking for, actually. The lava rock. I thought this one was it, and I was like, oh no, that's my obsidian. But I was like, well, I need the lava rock too, though. That's what I thought it was. And here it is. So I'm putting my immuno power. I'm going to do a fabulous makeup video, I think can't get too much of the immuno power, you know. I really should do my nails. There's really just no excuse for this. I mean, I have good reasons, I guess, as to why I'm spending my time doing other things, but that's just unprofessional about me. <sighs> Trying to decide. I have some really cute what really cute idea I want to do, but I'm like, geez, if I can't even go out and like be cute with it, why bother? So I'm going to save that for some time when I can hit the beach in a pink bikini. Hot pink. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I need some more nourishment. I'm going to have to go cook up some patties, maybe. Mm. I'll go have some macaroni and cheese, I think. Okay, so, yeah. Fucking crazy fucking shit. The baby daddy do. And I'm still married to this motherfucker. I spiritually divorced him. Um, and I karmically cleared him. But on 3D paper, we're still married. So we do some of the stuff married people sometimes have to do. Like taxes and shit. Um, you know. It's just stupid that like, you know, he takes our kid and wants to be some awesome dad, but it's like, why couldn't you just be an awesome dad when you were here? That's all I wanted. I wanted an awesome dad. You know, he's got like no problems taking the kid, having fun with him now. And it was like, if he would have done that for me here in the home so that I would have been able to build my business from home, I would have been like hella more successful by now. And I truly believe that when a mom wants to do something other than be a mom, the amount of support she gets is like a key factor in whether she's going to be successful or not. Because being a mom is the most important thing. So that if you're going to have small tidbits of time, you still have to maintain your own like showering and stuff. You still have to, you know, keep the kitchen clear. Um, and then do you have any time left to start running a business on the side? Well, what can you eliminate? You can eliminate the kitchen clearing. If you have a helpful partner who can handle some of these tasks that don't require your personality, then you have a much higher chance of being um, successful in your side business or whatever you call it. Um, so... 
you know, if I was able to sit at my desk and get some stuff done, grow, expand, do all the things, you know what I mean? Like, then you can come down, you know, you're going to have support down there. Like, okay, you don't have the stress. You really need it. I mean, I'm not going to say what you need. I'm going to say I really need a supportive partner. Um, and I don't want to say I need it, but I really can picture life with one and it seems way better. Um, because I've had little, you know, I've had little pepperings of it here and there, but if it's not on a daily basis, this is just, it's a lot to keep up on. Plus my healing. So that was like, that was like number one for a while. And I'm trying to just be better every day, but then see these moon cycles, they're really giving us a chance to dive deep. If there's any trauma and pain right now, the shit's going to come up and it's going to come out. So, you know, add something else to the list, basically. So now that's what I'm going to be doing also, um, clearing, clearing a lot of that that came up. So my question would be, if I clear this trauma from receiving the boots and I, you know, put the boots in the closet and it starts to be flip-flop season, if by the next time I take the boots out of the closet, which would probably be next fall, winter maybe, will I be completely cleared of that trigger reaction or will, will I have get it all today when I do it. Will I be able to get it all? Um, time will tell. So that's kind of how healing works, you know? Uh, so I got a decent trigger today, getting this, getting this shit out. Um, I was just doing my makeup and then I was like, you know, I maybe should just talk about this. All right, well, be well, my friends. Be safe.